Hello friends, family and other creatures of the sea and welcome back to a best of five between in the top left spawning as our Blue Zerg player playing for Team DKZ. It is dark. And in the bottom right as our Red Krotos playing for Storm Gaming. As always, it is Maximus uh, Paximus over here. Monsieur Maxpax. A legendary StarCraft 2 player, of course. As we have a... What is this? A little bit of a hatchery here coming down at the third base location right now. Very cool to see out of dark. It's just cool to see him not opening up with a proxy hatch for what? Because that's probably the most common build that he does do. So I'm curious to see. Oh, he's building six links. That's a lot of links here early on. Oh, no. He has different flavors of cheese, of course. I was happy that we were going to see a macro game coming out of dark, but... I don't think that's quite the case. Uh, there are standlings in production right now. Maxpex is producing uh, a second adept here, which he is chronoing. Where's the worker? Okay, worker went back home. Will not be capable quite of scouting this. Adept will not spot these two links moving out either, as Dark is uh, rerouting all of them. Doing a pretty darn decent job at that as well. Just sending everything around for now. Yep, uh, this is also still completely fine for Dark, of course. He's saying, hey... If you want to, you know, risk the life of your Adept here, taking out a drone, I'm okay with that. Second Adept now is uh, being sent out. Some fake drones are over here. Adept needs to shade out at some point as well. And here come the links. There's nothing in the wall. And that basically means that Max Pax is in a pretty poor spot. I'm, I want to say he's dead, but I'm not sure he is. This does look darn darn poor though it really does three four five workers being taken out this adept's gonna make its way back home this bad boy is also coming back home there is a unit in the wall which is big there's an oracle that's about to pop out as well as max packs here might be capable of yeah, making a defense doesn't have any adepts left because this one's going to die for sure as well oracle trying its best warp gate still kind of far away from finishing up here comes the pylon though so the full wall has been built the wall is complete and with the oracle here he's going to win at least a little bit of time it's 23 workers to 18 rewalling is a possibility this battery is too far forward should be further back the problem is is that i don't really think max Pax has the cash to easily rewall this he's hardly mining uh, he's going to be losing this pylon yep that's pain that's serious pain second oracle comes out though that's going to be real useful needs to try and rewall over here with this probe there we go gets a full wall up as the uh the, the warp gate finishes up that means that an adept could now be warped in into this little hole there we go does get built there's a second gateway on the way battery as i said oh super battery gets activated real cute play here coming out of the packs cybernetics were staying alive for much much longer and uh, maybe even allowing himself to get another warp in of an adept no not quite the case oracle could activate probably needs to activate at this point there we go uh, pylons being warped in zealots could get built here as well i think we'll need to build a zealot at some point we're gonna just need more units as uh, so yeah these oracles are dry <laughs> out of energy adept trying to shade back and i i think this is the end for you my friend as uh, the links are in and max Pax has nothing left what a frustrating game here to start in this best of five between dark and max Pax. what an awful way to go a cheeky little link flood old school but the old school way sometimes is the best school and i really feel for max Pax in this type of situation because it's very frustrating to lose a first game like that like you just because you know you messed up it's, it's not like the link flood is a broken strategy like it's on you and it's very much on you and you can't go back in time you can't undo the mistake you made but you don't feel like you got outplayed you know you you feel like your opponent pulled a dirty trick you know uh, a, a groin kick so to say and you you weren't wearing your groin protector you weren't wearing it and that was unfortunate this is also one of these strats that really gets in your head a little bit like, what is the chance that Max Pax is straight up going to move out with both of his adepts again? Is he gonna, you know, stay around for longer with the probe? Like, there's many things here that, that we could wonder about. Really very many things. This probe now moving in forward.
And I think it's important against Dark to scout for these hatches, is when you block this to make sure that the hatch is there. Because Dark has been very keen on proxying hatches just outside of vision range, and then going for some type of Link Flood or Spine Rush or something else stupid. And it's hard to hold if you have your own Nexus instantly, so... I'm gonna have to wait and see how Max Max is going to take care of all of that, if that does end up happening in this series. But so far, a calm early game here. The first minute and 45 seconds are as every minute and first 45 seconds should be. Completely calm. Just both players macroing up a little bit. Pylon goes down. This is a Stargate Pylon. You can see that Stargate's gonna be over here. Bomb. Slo shorter rush distance towards that uh, natural location. Or, well, the third base location where the natural is. So we're not sorry about to finish up, and we're indeed going to see no Warcade start. So it's going to be a Stargate indeed. And now we're following the probe, okay? Last time Max Pax was home at 2.37. <laughs> I don't think this is going to happen this time, is it? No, he's going home pretty quickly, honestly. He's not checking any, any type of links, as we do have four links moving out on the map once more. <laughs> I'm really curious how Max is going to maneuver around over here. Links are... Uh, still kind of just hanging around here just figuring out if they can get in maybe after that second adapt gets sent down now he's gonna, he's gonna send it back out <laughs> hey, this. this is a defensive chrono boosted adapt this is a low point in max's life let me tell you that much right this is an absolute low point in his life if he lets it finish then nah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good for him, actually, because this this is looking bad. This is looking bad. This could have been bad if these links pop in, you know. You're not in position with your adapts. One probe is still going to fall. Max Packs. Sloppy control there. At the same time, on the other side of the map, there's a lot of links there as well. Dark with a... Perhaps a poor early game. Well, if he hadn't gotten those kills, it's going to get one kill on the probe. Loses four links. Lost a drone as well. Just a good start overall for Max Packs here. <laughs> We have a full wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's not good. That's not good. He's afraid. He's real scared right now, all right? He's real scared. And he should be. Dark's in his head already. Drone being sent across the map. Two drones being sent across the map. That has two mistakes. This Oracle's gonna come in from the angle where the Queens are. We'll still get one or two kills, perhaps. You see, yep, one, two kills. Takes a little bit of, well, a little bit, quite a bit of hull damage as well. Shields, of course, completely depleted. And now the Nexus goes down. The drone will spot that. This uh, Adept in some trouble. Second Oracle will come in to try and help it out. Came just barely too late. Adept died. Oracle Pulse are being activated. Minus 35 energy. Ooh, one more Adept. Dark not paying attention. Could have caught that as well. Didn't realize in time, though. Another Pulse are being will need to be activated here to save this. If Dark decides to jump on it. Dark decides not to. Twilight Council as the follow-up. As well as two more gateways. That is interesting. That is very interesting indeed. Low gas, no forge. This is a classic Hearthstone build. If I wouldn't know any better. So far the early game also looks like a classic Hearthstone early game. Adept's going down. <laughs> no real damage being dealt. <laughs> I'm loving the way this looks. All too familiar for me. There's no energy on these oracles. Like, this is uh, this is some weird posturing over here, man. Like, what are you going to do with an oracle that has 18 energy? So look at the drones in an angry way. Pretend to put down a stasis. Don't quite think Dark has enough brain damage for that one yet. Is this oracle going to come in and get a single kill? It's something. It's just not great, though, is it? That's, re that's really the thing here. This is not great. I mean, Max back here is going to lose maybe two probes himself. Now, she's going to lose one. He'll probably get a link kill uh, in return. I even lose two stalkers though. Once again. Yeah, Dark truly is making some moves here. Now, this, this is a good fly-in. This is a proper fly-in. Dark completely out of position. Loses eight, nine workers. No, eight workers. Has built a lot of links as well during this period. This is just an uncomfortable situation all around right now for our Zerg player. Losing that many drones while building a, a handful of links as well. It just means you're going to have a very low count of drones. Three roaches coming out. Now I'm truly getting surprised. Is this a queen walk? This has to be the worst queen walk in, in case it, that's what's happening. No, it's going to be an infestation pit. I don't even think Dark White knows what he's doing. 
Like his hands are moving, but his brain isn't thinking, right? Like, well, it's infesty. I guess he's got... Oh, okay. No, this is the first Evo. I thought it was the second Evo. I think he's going to tech into a quick hive to rush out adrenal glands here. That is the only thing that makes any type of sense to me. As I say, that he's also going up to five gases. I think he wants to play Ultra. It, I really do believe he wants to play Ultra. It's the only thing to me that makes any type of sense whatsoever here. It's like Ultra plus Adrenal Glands. And I'm expecting a quick hive. A really quick hive. Gas not quite available. Soon will be. Then we're going to see if I'm right or not. Two Ravagers did get morphed. I guess those are... Def three Ravagers got morphed. Those are defensive Ravagers. A couple more drones on the way as well. Infester. All right. Roach Hydra Infester. Now, that is the last thing that I had expected in this game. Um... All right. Um... Stalkers here are going to be blinking back a bit. I I'm just thinking for a bit if, if you're max back, right? And max Pex is playing a an upgrade heavy style here with a lot of stalkers. Now, you could say, well, Investor Roach, that, that sounds pretty decent against this. You know, Investor Roach Ravager or Investor Link Ravager. You get the fungal, you surround with the Link, you hit them with the bile, right? This is, this is a theoretically perfect composition. The problem with heavy Ravager Investor comps is that any type of splash, but mainly disruptors, are a very good counter to them. Just a really strong counter. And they're also a good counter to high counts. So you're basically building units that all suck against the disruptor. And when they're split up, aren't even that great. So you're going to need to play kind of in a balled up army composition on low eco. You're fighting against someone that's going to have split up armies with very high eco. At least that is what Max Pex style is most likely going to be. If Max Pex at any point identifies what he's playing against, and I think he will soon, the moment he sees the Hydras, and he's seen the Ravagers already, he's seen the other stuff, I think he'll figure out, like, okay, this is what it is. I'm ex I'm fully expecting him to send the Robo Bay. He's like, hey, Robo Bay time, that's what it is. These links, by the way, they look real fun, but they have no upgrades. So they're gonna fall off massively in the next minute or so. Like, the larger the Stalker count becomes, the worse these links are gonna get. A uh, Hive is going to start right now. We're still only on six gases, though. Six gases. Fifth base on the way. Prism is out. And now I'm starting to get curious actually what his follow-up is going to be. Because he hasn't thrown down that Robo Bay, which I really did expect. He's working off of four gas for now. So he's getting a couple of these uh, stasis wars. He's getting hit by a big fungal right in the face. I wonder what the gate count actually is. That's ten. So if you can warp in seven, eight zealots here with one, one upgrades. Like, what are you going to defend with if you're dark? Like, you're going to send over 12 Hydras? Seems like an unlikely story. You're going to need Roaches. Okay, this is good positioning here. Good movement coming out of dark. Same time, this Zealot run by still active as well. So there's attacks happening. Three spots at the same time. Hydra's a bit too far forward in my mind. Yeah, needs to, needs to tank with the Queens. And then come in with the Hydras as the damage dealers in the back. Transfuses are available. Should get used. Yep, they will. Very nice defense so far. Out of dark. As that really stops Max Pex's momentum. This is one of these moments in which Dark just completely dismantles something that I think would kill maybe 90% of all the other top Zergs. Like, you look at a setup, like a, a complex setup like that, with the Prism in the main, with a Zealot run by on the left, and then simultaneously an attack at the front, and Dark manages to split that perfectly. He really did. This was a very impressive hold. It looked easy, but it isn't easy. It, it really isn't. With a weird army comp that he had as well, like making these splits is completely counterintuitive the way that he did it. And it was very impressive. Dark is one of these players that is just so good at looking what he has in a, on a certain screen and then utilizing that to, to the max, really. Just saying, okay, I have half an investor, I have five drones, I have a queen, a spine that I took a bite out this morning for breakfast. What can I do with this? You know, and he'll make magic happen. That is that is what he does. This is a nice flank, though, that's coming in. Uh, well, is it? Stalker's a little bit slow to the chase here. Uh, Dark's managing to squeeze by. 
freaking Houdini over here. He escapes out of that chokehold. Prism can't die, should not die, is going to die. It's going to give Dark a lot of freedom to move these units around the map. We instantly see these four Hydras starting to move around. I'd love to see an attack towards the left. That's exactly what Max Specs is doing. As he now is starting his Disruptor production, just kind of trickling them in. That is a slow process, though. Purification Novas could be big. Dark usually with solid micro, even off creep, which uh, is not so easy. Here comes an interesting move once again, just moving straight through the middle as we have Hydra Roach Blitz all the way towards Max Pack side of the map. This is weird to move out with, by the way. 37 Hydra, 2 Infestors, 13 Roaches. Infestors, I think, have been left at home, yeah. I'm not sure if this is a proper way of... You can, you can, I don't think you can deal damage with this type of splits right now. I think you're going to need Lurkers in your compositions to achieve something with these splits. Two Lurkers now on the way. Don't forget this is being played off four base. Eight gas for Dark, but still only four base. Now, in the matchup, one of the most important things is a high gas count, both for Zerg and for Protoss. So, although Dark is not in a great spot, he does have a very powerful army, and he has the ability to increase the power of that army a little bit more. I'd love for him to just get rid of a bunch of them links. These links are stopping him from adding in three, four, five, six more lurkers. If he has a natural way to kind of get rid of them, that'd be huge. Purification Nova is going to help out after he got fungal in a massive way. Another big fungal is going to connect. It's the sixth base for Max Packs will get taken out. Purification Nova now hits in a big, big way. Don't forget that these are 3-2 units against just plus 2 range attack. Defensively, this is hell for Max Packs. You'd almost say, hey, why don't we just go for a, a counter attack here with these zealots? Yeah, or a flank. I think a counter attack might even be better. He's opting for the flank, though. Do we have a... Uh, we don't have any detection. We have a little bit of detection. Okay, here comes the Observer. That's good. Flank is beautiful. Well played here. 3-2 upgraded Zealots, of course. Fantastic once they really start finding them Hydras. And even those Lurkers uh, truly struggling there. As Dark right now, at a low gas count, has invested a lot into getting more Lurkers out. Wants to get 11 more drones to finally saturate that 5th base. But it's been so hard for him to get a 5th base up. I think Max Specs really should consider getting extra gases at this moment going up to just a full 10 gas attacking into storm or higher robo count for now though just with a pure gateway army he's engaging into these lurkers that could be scary as this fight is not going so well for max not going so well at all loses another oracle as well now it's going to get pushed back as long as max Pax has momentum and map control he's in a fine spot he is adding those two robos by the way which is great uh, you really have two options against kind of low gas lurker so if you're you're playing against anyone that's playing less than 10 gas, you can you can just continuously build disruptors and keep trading. That's usually good trades for the pros, even if there are vipers out, which right now there aren't like that. However, once Zerg gets up to 10, and it becomes much easier for them to, to kind of produce vipers, their upgrades, and have somewhat of a, a lurker trickle in as well, you need to be very careful with just mass massing disruptors. But yeah, I I really think this fifth base right now for Dark is absolutely key to, to winning this game. Both for Max Pax to deny it and for Dark to keep it. Zealot run by or Zealot attack in the main base. Adrenal Glands still not here yet on the links. These links are proper weak. I'm surprised we keep seeing new links just being kind of built. Because these links have zero zero upgrades. Uh, I am not sure what they are achieving here. They're just dying. And they're not dealing any damage. Eh? I mean, if you're going to continue building links, at least get the Adrenal Glances. What I'd say, here comes another Hydra uh, little squad killing a Prism. Double Stargates on the way for Disruptor out. Here comes an attack. Big hit. Very big hit. I think there was three, four Morphing Lurkers. A real Lurker as well. We have the Fleet Beacon coming in. Ten more Zealots being warped in. I think this was all on the far right side. As a massive Lurker attack is now moving out. Now, an amateur might look at this and think to himself, I want to fight this. Max Pax looks at this and also says, I want to fight this. Sometimes Max Pax and the amateur have a lot in common. I was going to say, you probably want to counterattack in this case. Uh, hold with stalk and then counterattack. But Max Pax believes that eventually he can clean this up and it's worth uh, the many zealot losses. I'm not sure if that was. That was it hit like 35 zealots and 5-6 stalkers. He ended up killing 6 lurkers. That was real bad there for Max Pax's bank. Going to move forward here at the same time with a bunch of these disruptors as 8 more lurkers do get produced. That just becomes easier. For some reason, once you go from 8 to 10 gas, 
It feels so much more comfortable for the Zerg to build these gas units. I'm not entirely sure what it is about it. It just feels like you... It doesn't feel like you're just adding two gas. It's like a magic number for some reason. It's like, oh, now it feels good. And before that, it didn't feel good, you know? It really didn't. 76 workers to 81. Uh, resources lost is very close, which is something... I don't really want as a toss, I think. I don't think it's necessary either. There were a couple of fights that were slightly subpar. Mothership now on the way, I think this is just a good call all around. Like, no, no negative emotions attached to that. I think the Mothership is always good to build nowadays. It's so cheap, and the ability to teleport to the other side of the map and, and start somewhat of an offense there is just huge. Templar Archives on the way as well here for Max Packs. Let's be real careful against this type of run by. Oh, Disruptors though coming in. Gonna take out one Lurker. At the same time, Stalkers moving forward. Need to be careful not to get caught here by any potential investors. Good blink away. One thing that we could criticize Dark for is that he has been getting spotted by observers for a long time. And his Overseer usage hasn't been great. His ability to spot these observers on the map while they're in these uh, observer... What do you call them? The super spots? When they're surveillance mode? Is that what it's called? It's pretty weak in my mind. It's pretty weak here by Dark. We have a rotation towards the left side right now. There's a couple of lurkers there still. Yeah, Max Max needs to be very careful. This carrier's now moving forward. Do we have any Vipers yet? No, double spires are on the way, though. Bunch of cannons as well. Good defensive setup. Here come the weakest links in the world. Still no adrenal gland. Still only plus one carapace. Could almost lose 10 links against a single zealot. Yeah, this is a nice move forward. This is real nice because this forces Hydras towards this side of the map. And guess what isn't on the right side of the map? Or hardly lurkers. So that means that right now an attack with the main army there or with the stalker zealot force could be huge oh no missed targets there could have perhaps killed three of these lurkers as max Pax is taking his seven he's taking the game very slow starts attacking what did he kill is he attacking his own pylon or cannon he was attacking something there i'm just not sure what it was a beautiful little army split and this is the weak side right now for dark it really is this feels like the weak side because that is where the the carriers are. But it's the strong side. There's just nothing here defensively. There, there really isn't. If Max Pack were to realize that, he could just walk in here and straight up kill this base. He's afraid of the lurkers, which is understandable. Now more lurkers are showing up. This base is a little bit more well defended. Hydra is also going to come in. And here comes the mothership. There we go. Goes going to recall in towards the main base with the left side army at the same time we see the stalker zealot rotating towards the left purification nova's here to zone out he's going to recall out again i think yep there we go time warp recall out and an attack of zealots on the left side at the same time and here comes another attack where did he recall to towards the right yeah okay towards the right still so we have uh a left-leaning rotation of the Stalker Zealot Force. Could perhaps take out this Lurker. Key position here. Kind of keeping this left side safe as well from any rotations. Once you lose control of this area as it are, you're going to be in serious trouble. Like, this is a scary area for, for Max Pax to be. Because he has four options. He can go to the left. I guess three options. He can go to the left, he can go through the middle and to the right. Defending all these with sufficient forces is very hard. You kind of just blitz through there and it's real difficult for zerg to constantly kind of reshuffle those defenses depending on you know what direction max pex's nose is pointing gravitic boosters here on the way observer speed gravitic drive of course is the prism speed i don't think we quite have that yet no we don't here comes an attack on the far left could fall actually I'd love to see an oracle in this comp just to get some vision on where these vipers actually are lurker count is simply too high stalker zealot moving in forward stalker's gonna commit here to this to this position actually does need to be careful because he's losing quite a few he's uh, considering moving in forward altogether 16 corruptors out three vipers now there are some templar here in the mix as Storm finishes up. It is still only 5 base versus 7. 
but dark has been uh, relatively just re okay okayish when it comes to the resources lost but now he's going to lose one of his own bases to max back and that is an issue that is a serious issue that he needs to deal with and he ain't dealing with it right now because he is gonna get he's been getting out mind but once max back starts start, starts taking his bases and it's looking bleak for the future. At the same time, I'm also not quite seeing how Dark is planning on taking this base. So that's perhaps minus two bases. Here come Disruptor shots. Observer gets taken out. As well as two Lurker. Good trade here for me. Very nice trade. Good Storm as well hitting instantly. Corruptor's completely out of position. They're on the far right side of the map. I think they were, were hoping to snatch a Mothership kill or something like that. I'm not quite sure exactly what the play was here. Seven more corruptors on the way. Like, what is happening over here? Something you could do is just move the mothership out and then recall towards the right side with your main army and then recall back with the mothership. Like, that is a really cool move. But I, I still don't think we see enough. Every single Viper but one gets um, completely blasted there. Uh, invisibility gets used on the mothership. But there's plenty of overseers around. Carriers falling a bit lower, but the corruptor count is dropping faster, I think. Well, actually, yeah. Corruptor count dropping just a little bit faster. Still a bunch of corruptors on the map. I just don't quite know where they are. Oh, they're all being rebuilt. Okay, GG gets called. Dark not feeling it anymore after that fight. Despite it being a pretty close fight. Just felt like he didn't have the resources left to rebuild. And that, my dear friends, is uh, going to be it for this game. Luckily, the end of that game doesn't mean the end of the series yet. As, of course, it's a best of five. We're 1-1 one, one right now. I don't actually know the historic result between these two. I don't know who is historically favored. I feel like it would be dark. Max Pax hasn't had a generally great scores against the, the best Zergs. Very good scores against most of the Terrans. Fantastic against most Protoss players. But against Zergs, I'm, it felt like for a while he wasn't quite as strong. I really think he's gotten much better in the last three, four weeks in PvZ. It's been his fastest rising matchup as well on a league lock which is always going to be a good indicator of things like form and also just overall strength in a matchup sometimes i think there's a little bit too much of the past in there especially with players that don't play that much but max Pax plays a crap ton so with him there's actually in my mind a lot of value um, in checking his illegal lock as in knowing how good he is at the moment i think currently a league lock ranks him as the third best player in the world and I think that is fairly accurate. I think that is fairly accurate. I'd love for him to go to an offline tournament sometime, man. God, how great would it be? It'd be so hype as well to have him at an offline tournament. Finally, young Dane performing where he needs to. That would be something, wouldn't it? It really would be. All right. What do we have over here? We have a an oracle. We have a stalker. Stalker plus oracle equals a dead overlord. At least that's what I think. And that moves towards the left side. Trying to secure that third. So a bunch of these bad boys around. Oh, no shoddy gets that stalker. What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> that that was a the sun cost fallacy in action there. I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose this overlord. Let me also lose these links. <laughs> if we go down, then we go down together. <laughs> <laughs> like, what in the world was that? That was legitimately one of the worst moves I've seen. Because it was so obviously the wrong call. There are bigger mistakes with a way bigger impact, but this was such obviously a bad call that I don't understand how it happened. And it was also a conscious call, right? It wasn't like he wasn't paying attention and the Lynx accidentally attacked the Stalker. No, this was, it was like, okay, I think I can fight this. And it was so obviously not possible for him to fight. That was very funny to me. I don't quite understand how that happened, but I love it. 
Um, we're gonna see a, uh, a charge attack here. This is something that Max Max has been doing as of late, as he's been switching up the builds a bit more in this particular matchup. He's gonna go into a charge Archon attack, and I believe he goes up to eight gateways with this before he hits the attack. We've seen people do this uh, type of attack with six or with four as well. Ooh. Dark is doing the Korean special here. Classic Korean build order. Uh, someone still has to explain to me quite what the purpose of this is. But Solar and Dark and DRG as well love doing this specific one. They'll go for a quick plus one and then hit a timing before plus one has finished. No one truly knows what it's all about. But it's very popular in Korea. Very, very popular. Nine Banes on the way here. Gonna get spotted, I think. Yep, there we go. Oh no, Max! You saw it, but you didn't see it. Now he's gonna spot it. Uh, the way to deal with this is having a battery in your third. That battery ain't there. Perhaps a sentry could help out. Without a sentry, life could be quite hard, though. He's gonna lose a bunch of workers. That's not the end of the world. As long as his base stays alive, he will be fine. And even if the base doesn't stay alive, it's still technically possible that a counter-attack with 8 gates and 2 Archons is going to deal serious damage. Now maybe the attacks is going to finish up as the attack comes to an end. As I said, I don't quite understand the purpose of it, but I love it anyway. You know, you don't have to understand everything to love it. You know, just like with music. Sometimes you just like a song, no matter how bad it's supposed to be. You don't have to, you don't have to get it, you know? Sometimes you don't get it, and that's what's beautiful about it. And I think that's the case with the the plus one link timing that doesn't have plus one. I've never seen a European do this either, by the way. It's it's always Koreans that do it. I just don't understand. No, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Eight gates are out. Plus one is about to finish up in uh, three seconds. This is actually going to be a serious issue as there's no roach warren. Or, well, there's a roach warren now, but there's no roaches on the map. Fourth base is toast. However, Dark can go for a counter attack, kill this third base forever. I actually think that Max Max probably needs to commit a little bit harder here. He's going to wait for one more warp in, as Dark is massively supply blocked. That could potentially cost him the game, as he throws down seven overlords. Has no real units at home. Double Archons, now being targeted down here by these queens. So, Zell is moving in forward. Banelings have uh, disappeared from the map, as this Ling run by is dealing some serious damage. At the same time, this Zealot attack is also dealing some serious damage. Now the question is going to be who can deal the most damage and who can, uh, can stop his opponent. And so far it feels to me like Max Pax is uh, in a better position to truly kill his opponent. I think Dark has dealt a lot of damage already. But it is possible that, that Max Pax just says, hey, you're dead. And that usually is worse. Yeah, did you? Wow. Too late there with the Road to Warren follow-up, despite knowing that it was going to be Zealots. And uh, then the supply block not helping out either. Massively supply block. Max Max takes game number three and puts himself on match point. Next map is going to be uh, Side Delta over here. Once again, a Stargate opener. This really is the, the golden standard generally for Max Max. I'd be surprised to see anything else out of him. There was a period in which he was very keen on playing, playing Twilight Council builds, but that period is, is uh, well past us. It's like a year ago or so, we saw him do it quite a bit. Max Pax is a bit of a trendsetter, so when he usually changes his style, a lot of other people will start playing it as well. And then if you have one of these builds that people just get better against the more they play, play versus it, then it just becomes less and less valuable. He's gonna finish that, yeah. There we go. He's gonna finish that indeed. The Adept's not gonna get any kills. Unfortunate for the Adept. Fortunate for Dark. Who, uh... So far, it's not doing anything too tricky. With Dark, you're never sure, though. He has, he, has, he has many aces up his sleeve. Many tricks up his sleeve. And aces. There's a lot of things up his sleeve. He has massive sleeves. Huge sleeves. Lots of space there. I also buys his shirts a bit baggy, so he can fit things up his sleeve. That's a fact. That's an actual fact. So this is a nice little potential surround. And it ends up not going so well. More links now coming in, and at this point, I think getting the one adapt and then fishing off is the correct play. He's gonna try to go for the probe. Doesn't quite get it. Pulse Dream does get activated. 20 links on the way here. 
20 links on the way. Dark seriously committed to cancelling this third base. If he's not gonna get the third base cancel, Dark is not just in trouble, he's potentially dead. Don't forget that 20 links is the equivalent of 10 drones. And I don't think you can just lose 10 drones and not deal any damage. It's simply impossible. Okay, they're being spotted. There's a new warping on the way. I don't think Max Pax is taking this very serious. He's not taking this threat serious at all. The next Oracle is really far away as one's gonna get sent home. It's the one with less energy. Adept still in an okay position to deal with this. We're gonna need more Adepts. The Adept in the natural needs to come on over. Warp Gate should be pretty close to coming back in as well. Dark is... Uh, Pretty close to being supply block. If he doesn't get the kill here, though, this is just going to be bad still. This is still just not going to be good. Double pulsar beams got activated. This is still pretty scary right now here for Max Pax. This doesn't look good for the young Dane. He doesn't have the units. He's going to lose this adapt. And his pulsar beams are now empty. We're gonna get a recall on an Oracle, I guess. Though it's a pro. What? Hmm? Okay. Okay, new Oracle has been produced. It's going to try and keep this base alive, but he's just bleeding probes right now, and he needed to build a, a fourth Oracle. Sorry, that was my mic stand. <laughs> it's a bit squeaky. Could use some oil for it, for sure. Sadly, currently do not have the funds to, uh, to buy some of that oil. And one of these days, for sure. Don't worry about it, guys. As uh, the double Oracle is moving towards the right, I, they just don't have the energy to save this base. Like, this feels like this base is safe because there's so little links. But there's just nothing to defend. And behind this, Dark is still just building drones. Dark is really walking on, 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 a, on a tight rope here. Like, I, I feel like if he just would have built 20 more links at this point, he would have gotten this base 100%. Now, with another warp in, maybe no? I don't know. I actually don't know. This It feels like he's holding, Max, that is. I think he's held, yeah. Well, we're still gonna get a nice little drone count. There's a fort base on the way, but the creep spread is... I don't think the word mediocre quite uh, covers that. It's awful. It's atrocious. Garbage creep spread over here coming out of dark. It's been a very busy game, of course, so it's understandable. But it doesn't mean it ain't bad. Things can be understandable and still bad. Double Oracles moving out on the map, looking for some kills. There's 10 roaches on the way. The lair is about to finish up. We're going to see Glau Reconstitution start. We're working with a plus one melee and going into a roach attack. This is... This is uh, this is as dark as it gets. It really is. This is <laughs> I'm very surprised. I'm, I'm just truly surprised by this. Melee upgrade about to finish up. That's cool. That's real cool. Four more drones as well coming in. I do like the, the call of getting roaches against, of course, an Archon Saladin deck. I don't think that's bad. I think it's a good call. Problem is that you don't have any upgrades for him. I wonder if you're going to go into range from here. Or if this is just going to be it. There's a lot of roaches. We don't have a single Immortal yet. This is an interesting attack. When I say interesting, I mean... Ill-advised. I, I, I don't... I don't think you can do this. We're at 69 workers to 69. Second Robo, as well as Robo Bay on the way. I'm just not liking the position that Max Pax is in right now. I'm just not liking it. His, his Oracles have a very low energy count, except for this one. So stopping attacks will be hard. He's going for a, a committed push. While his opponent is practically all inning him of Lair. Like, these are fake drones. They're, they're not really there. There's just no mining. Max Pax is going to commit to this as well. So we have a Ling, uh, Ling flank coming in. Roach is in the back, dishing out a lot of damage. Queens in the main will take care of the prison. This is just going to get completely destroyed. It's not a close fight at all. Don't forget, these roaches have no upgrades. This was just extremely all in, and I think it is going to end up working out here for a dark. As mentioned, these oracles completely out of energy, except for the, oh, this one's now also completely out of energy. First immortal just now pops as two disruptors start as well. I feel like Max Pax has such a sick chance here to finish the series, and 
kind of threw it out the window there by attacking into an all-inning Zerg. Game here of this series between Max Pax and Dark. Gonna have to wait and see for what Dark's gonna do. This map is very different, of course, because it has that gold base. And Dark is a huge fan of, of, of map features. He's a map feature lover, you know that. There's one thing that he likes, it is different map features and utilizing those different map features. Probe's gonna be sent out, and we'll start patrolling on the natural as well. Gateway on the way. Oh, we actually have a, we have a drone scout. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Well, it's not a drone scout, it's gonna be a proxy edge. Question is, is it going to be on the natural of his opponent or outside of the natural of his opponent? These are two options. Okay, it's going to be here. This is a spine crawler rush. Max Pack so far has been blocking the natural and then scouting potential third base locations. This is a very safe way of playing. Now he's going to check whether these minerals have been mined or he could just check the gold. He's going to check the gold instantly. And he'll get all the info he needs. This is all the info he needs. I'm expecting a unit to be sent out. I'm expecting a core before Nexus here as well. Absolutely expecting that. There's this bad boy here. Is uh, gonna go back into scout. Core before Nexus. Zealot starts instantly. Now the question is, what is the correct response to this particular strategy? I don't actually know theoretically what the best is. Um, I like Zealot, Zealot, Stalker. I think that is fine. I don't mind second gas either with continuous pro production and then zealot zealot stalker because right now he's cutting the second gas for still a fast nexus um drone moving out to try and take the gold base yeah this is um i i, I believe this to be completely fine here from xpex Double Zealot is a very good opener. I think that battery is perhaps even overkill. I understand it. Yet a mistake. This uh, hatch is now going to be thrown down here. Yeah, this is... Ah, I should have blocked that. He does block it. I do not worry. Uh, you shouldn't worry when you're watching Max Pax games. You really shouldn't. This guy's fast. He's quick. He knows what to do. Come on. Queen is going to pop, which is kind of a big deal, because then you're going to get creep tumors on, on your butt. Problem with having delayed second gas is that, well, he also hasn't really been building probes. No probes, no second gas. His stargate is going to be late, perhaps even not non-viable here. Non-viable indeed. Second gate goes down. I think Max Pax is... Uh, I'm not sure if he's slightly misreading this because he's also seeing, <laughs> seeing a freaking Roach War. It's like, <laughs> like, that's a, a wild move here, Dar. Dar's just building drones. That's a fake Roach War. So, proxy hatch into fake Roach War with a gold is, is I guess, the plan here for now uh, coming out of Dark. It's looking real bad for Dark, let's face it. It's not looking great for him. The only thing that he has going for himself right now is that Max Pax is too afraid of moving out. Because if Max Pax right now was a little bit more ballsy and went on the map, there would be zero units. Well, ten links, that's it. Ten links against two zealots, three stalkers. You're gonna need way more than that. Another gold here is being added in. Um, yeah, this... This is very odd. I don't think I've ever seen this build before. I'm not planning on seeing a build like this ever again. I don't... Robo facility. I'm not loving the plan here that Max Pex is, uh, is opting for. I, I think getting a Stargate still would be much, much superior to what he's doing here. Because you want to keep a third base. You want to be capable of scouting with an Oracle. The, the Oracle basically does everything at once. It harasses, it scouts, and it defends. And the robotics facility can only do one thing at once. You're either getting a prism, which is harass, or you're getting an observer for scouting. I guess prism does a bit of scouting as well, but it's kind of risky because it's pretty slow. And the immortal defense. So you need to make a decision there. You can't do all three things at the same time. And that's the beauty of the Oracle is that it fulfills so many roles, which is why it's the most common unit to get. And I think Max Pax here is too afraid, but then he builds a prism, which doesn't make sense. Because that means he wants to push out. But I actually think pushing out, it could also work. 
And there are three Ravagers out. We have a bunch of links on the way. Income is pretty equal, actually. Despite the uh, discrepancy in workers. Which is funny. <laughs> Gold here under attack. Let's see if Maxpack can win this fight. I think he can, actually. Maybe just Micros as well. So far, the Micro is good enough. Gonna need a warp in. Ooh, he uses two Stalkers there pretty much for free. That's pretty sloppy. That was pretty sloppy indeed. I want to see some more warp ins. Not quite getting them. Dark is pushing this back. And now things are starting to get seriously scary because we're one good wave of drones away from saturating this gold. And if you're saturating two gold bases against someone that is creep contained, doesn't have Stargate, and is basically all inning off of a robo. That ain't good. We have a Twilight Council now coming down, and Maxpex doubles down here on his pressure. I think this is still a mistake. I think all of this is just a, a big misunderstanding. I, I, I really do believe so. What I would like to see right now is a bit of a stalker presence clearing some of these tumors, and then getting adapts across the map, either in a prison or not, taking this as a third, I think getting a prism across the map would be huge. Look at the look at the count of queens. It's at three. This this base could really be an issue. We're we're ten workers away really from from this base becoming an issue. Don't forget this is twenty eight workers to forty two right now. Which is kind of wild. This is good as well. This is a good move, but you can't keep him alive. You can't keep him alive, which is a real issue. Here comes the Shaden. No. Here doesn't come the Shaden. Once again, Stargate here would have been phenomenal. A couple of oracles. Man. Would have been very nice. It's going to be charged, by the way, rather than blink, which is a surprise to me. These adapts getting a couple of kills. One, two, three. I think they killed two links and uh, now three drones. I think that's four. I think that's five. Five drones is pretty decent if your opponent only has 27 workers. It's <laughs> sort of 20% of their workforce, basically. As uh, the stalkers here are being microed back and forth. Dark Shrine on the way. We have a cybernetic score being rebuilt. 24 workers to 45. This game is ridiculous. And seven more drones now in production. And this is the wave of drones that is necessary to saturate this base. And once this base is saturated, I've been saying it for a while, Maxpex is in trouble. Maxpex absolutely is going to be in trouble then. Super battery needs to activate right now. It's now or never. As the prism is trying to come back, charge has finished up as well. Biles connecting with the battery. Going to make life difficult here for Max. No upgrades on these zealots as a couple of them get piled while they're warping in. Can we get some pickups? Not the greatest pickups, but units will remain alive. Three zealots stuck in the back. You hate to see it. Adept here fighting as well as we're going to get a couple of Ravager piles still. We'll be capable of somewhat connecting over here as Ravager's links. Winning this fight, surprisingly, actually. And behind is the income for Dark is still looking similar to his opponents, despite being down 13 workers. Double gold base putting in serious work here. Three adepts, or sorry, three adepts, three DTs are out. Um, they will help out perhaps in, in clearing some of the creep. There's no lair yet, but revealing these DTs, that, that sucked. He rather would not have revealed those DTs. Now that he has revealed them, uh, the harassment that, that can come out of him is going to be much, much weaker. Let's see if this DT could still achieve something here by maybe killing a gold. A couple of workers in the gold at least. I actually think these Ling run bites might be worse for Dark than they are for Max Packs. Eh, maybe not actually. Six, seven, eight workers going down. That's significant. Third base now finally on the way for Max. As the DT over here doesn't find a single drone. More and more drones are in production for Dark. As Dark right now just in a massively, massively advantageous position. And I think the only thing at the moment that Maxpex can do is, is go for an Archon Zealot push. It really is the only thing he has left. But there are Roaches out already. This would have been great if you're playing against pure Ling. But the Roaches have been out since minute one practically. So, Yeah, I'm not really seeing this work here. I, 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 think, I think this is looking really bad right now for Maxpex. He's down 600-700 minerals a minute. And there's still a lot of gold patches as well. Like this is just the du the double gold, man. Like double gold doesn't mess around, let me tell you. It does not. 
Overseer here. Coming on out to play. It's a little bit slow. Slower than the other boys, but still quick enough, I think. Ravager counts looking uh, nice here at 542. Links are out. We'll come in with a, uh, a surround or a flank. This is this is trademark dark. Moving in forward here with the uh, Road Ravager and then either running by. Yeah. Catching off units that are reinforcing or just coming in with a flank. Or perhaps both. First with the run by, then with the flank. But for now, it seems like he's absolutely keen on just going in with the run by. Road Ravager just kiting back this army, clearing zealots one by one, basically, and then hitting Biles on Archon Immortal. I think Max Pex is dead. I absolutely think Max Pex is dead. What a close show. What a close series. There's another Immortal is going to get caught here by the Lynx. And yes, the worker count is still even, but that doesn't mean anything if there's double goals functioning right now, still at this moment. Double the supply right now for Dark. And he's going to pick up this base most likely. And with that base, uh, he's also gunning for the victory here. GG gets called. Stark indeed takes out Max Pax with a 3-2 score. A very odd last game. I think Stargate there definitely the correct call in the end. More so than uh, getting that robotics facility. Understandable, as Max Pax was very afraid of some type of uh, roach follow-up. But in the end, I think the incorrect call. And that is going to be it for me today. Thanks all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Bye-bye.